So I made a video on TikTok talking about how being friends with people who look like you or who share like a community with you can or potentially stunt your growth being your own individual person and i really come to think like truly bro i don't think i've come to understand myself until i really took a step outside the somali community i feel like my mindset has really seen life differently when i took a step outside my community and i really do implore the girls to go out and go make friends with different types of people and i'm not saying like you got to go be friends with white black blah, blah, blah. no i'm saying people who you know are truly like you i say girls like really take a step back from being in a group all the time and try doing something by yourself try really figuring out who is blank who is like for me who is jamila who is the hokage when no one is looking what does she like to do who is she alhamdulillah i've always had a good sense of self because i was always doing things by myself and i was always getting to know myself whether i liked it or not i had no choice bro um, I grew up pretty much an only child for a long time, and then my sister came, W her. Um, so my parents probably, since I was like th their first child, kind of, or oldest child or whatever the heck it was, um, they probably like allowed me to express myself a lot more, but they still did that with my sister. So, But I'm assuming that's the case because they never cared if I liked Barbies or Spider-Man. They just said, if Jamila likes something, well, that's our baby. Like, let's get it for her. What parents should do, right? You feel me? They're all like, you know, they just let me do what I like to do, bro. They never looked at it like, oh my God, like she's acting like a boy. Or, oh my God, she's not being feminine enough. They're just like, she's a kid. She likes Spider-Man. We're going to get her Spider-Man. <laughs> she likes games. We're going to get her games. It was very simple. You feel me? So in that mindset, I had that mindset for a long time. And I really pondered a lot of my childhood because I really didn't have anything that influenced what I liked. Except that I allowed it. Truly, without no other influence. You know, sometimes my parents would be like, mm, I think you should, you know try something different like read a book it would be it wouldn't be anything like my personal interest it'll be like you know encouraging stuff like oh jimmy i think you should stop playing the game you should read a book or i think you should take a walk or i think you should go outside and go talk to the other kids because you're playing dragon ball z budokachi tenkachi 3 all day long like you need to go hang out with other kids like i'm concerned jam get out get out, out! kind of it was kind of like that not really but like kind of so when i went to middle school for the first time and i started being friends with predominantly somali girls right girls i'm not and, and i want to make it very clear in no shape where from my bashing somali girls in any way they are amazing beautiful talented amazing women i just think the sense of individual in the community is lacking that's just my personal aspect so i wanted to make that clear that's my overall point i feel like it's lacking in many ways like it's lacking in the fact that you know, maybe this is just my own perspective. I don't really know. Like, I'm not here to tell people how to dress or act. And I'm not asking people to be individualism. But I just wanted that if you don't feel like you can be yourself, you know, I want you to know that you can. That's what it really is. If you feel like, because all the girls dress, act, eat, do activities the same. Like, they're all the same. There's no sense of individual individualism. You might ask, oh, Jimmy, what's wrong with that? There's nothing really wrong with that. But I just think, isn't that kind of boring? Isn't that kind of dead? You don't want to try nothing new. You don't want to go to a new activity. You don't want to eat somewhere new. Why are you guys all drinking Master tea and, dri and driving Toyota RAV4s? Why are you guys all wearing the same buy from Ottawa Fashion? You feel me? Like, why don't you change up your swag a little bit? Get out your comfort zone. Like, life gets so boring when it's repetitive. You know that episode of SpongeBob when Squidward lived in the same place with the same people? Did he grow, bro? Did he really grow? He ended up hating his life, bro. Like, real talk. And that's not the biggest problem, because if that's what you like genuinely, go for it. I support you, sis slash bro. I support you. If you want to do what everybody else is doing, or if you want to do what you like, and it just seems to be what everybody else is doing, go for it. As long as you like it and you're happy. But I just want you to know the world is your oyster. You could do whatever you want, bro. I don't want you to feel like your growth is being stunt. Because that's what it felt like with me. That's my honest perspective. I just felt like, you know how do i explain it like growing up with somali girls like it was very much matchy matching energies no one just loved you for you bro it was very much like if you didn't show up to my birthday i'm never talking to you again or if you don't respond to my text you're weird or there's just so many set rules and i'm saying this is really all girls ever and we all went through this trauma either we did it or we went through it you know and i really think it's some weird kind of disconnect in the feminine community that is a different topic for a different video but since I'm talking about smiling girls and, and individualism in this video. Let's focus on that. Okay? I just think you're growing up sixth grade, like 
bro i went trick-or-treating right and i it's weird because as a muslim like you know we have our own stuff about that but i went with a somali community muslim community they took us to campus college campuses to go trick-or-treating so i got candy and stuff right so the next day i went to school and they asked where'd you get this candy i said i went trick-or-treating everybody all the girls shunned me i was like what why are you shunning me you feel me and they were like oh now you're going to hell you're cooked and then they, they dead ass stopped talking to me like they dead ass look at me like uh, I was real confused. I'm like, what? It's just candy. And I was literally having some kind of like, not panic, but like I was having anxiety because I was like, what? Am I really a bad person because I decided to get candy? But I'm like, I went with Muslims though, so I don't understand. And I, I literally didn't even do trick or treating. I didn't dress up. I just went to dorms like, give me candy. That's all I did. And I watched Teen Titans go. So I was like confused. And then I shared a locker with this Somali girl, right? And then in class, she asked me for candy, and I said, go ahead, go to the locker and grab it. It's fine, go ahead, you know? I'm not gonna hate on you, even though you were being weird to me. I'm like, go grab it, or whatever, right? Because I don't, whatever. And then she comes back, and then the other girl says, um, yeah, Jamila, can I have some candy? So this girl goes, and I say, yeah, bring some for this girl, too. And I know these girls, so don't, like, they can't play dumb. I never forget what I I'm saying, be treat people nicely, because you never know what leave, what um, impacts you leave them with. I go back to my locker room after the class, and I come to find out all my candy has been stolen, pretty much. And I was, I feel bad for younger me because I just was confused. I was like, what did I do? And then I literally went to my partner, who was my locker mate, right? I go to her. I'm like, hey, all my candy is gone. And you were the last person. You're the only person who has the access to our lock. So why is my candy gone? You feel me? And then she was like, I don't know, bro. It wasn't me. You know like how they act, bro? Oh, my days. I don't know, bro. It wasn't me. I'm like, well, I go ask her, bro. She might have took it, bro. I don't know, but it's not me. Oh my god bro the trauma bro like oh and like i literally was just really sad because you shunned me all you guys shunned me and then i see candy all over your freaking mouths and pockets the wrappers of my candy and it's just like all right and that's when it clicked to me like these girls are not my friends bro but i didn't know what else to do because i'm like they're my people and i just i like, kind of brushed it away like oh they they weren't they were just playing right and then i grew up more and more and more and I just found out, like, these, these girls were just very malicious. Girls are very malicious. Like, I say at worst, men are sociopaths. and worst, women are malicious because girls, they're very passive-aggressive with their stuff. Like, they, they, they will hurt you enough to make you feel bad, but they like to just, you know, it's okay, sis. You know I didn't mean it. That's why I hate the word sis. I hate when a girl calls me sis because you're not my sis. Don't call me sister. I really, I really hated it. It was just annoying. And then growing up, like with friends especially in the community i felt like there was just so many requirements to be these girls friends and it's like you don't even have enough swag to be saying this bro and i'm speaking mostly in high school like these girls would be friends with you for the dumbest reasons bro and no actually i scratched that like it wasn't even really reasons but like when you hanged out with these girls they'd always find a reason to get mad at you or find it was like sociopathic behavior like actually crazy behavior like one time my friend got mad at me because she wasn't talking to me so i started talking to my guy friend and he's literally my neighbor my cousin kind of so i hang out with him more because shorty wasn't talking to me she wasn't feeling me so then she literally tells me i'm mad at you because you're not messing with me no more oh my god how narcissistic and crazy do you gotta be to think that and you know i'm so nice and people knew i was a nice girl and i had my own sense of personality i knew what i liked if you knew me in ninth grade i was steady screaming i'm gonna become hokage so this day i'm screaming i'm gonna become hokage you feel me so i always knew my sense of self so nobody could ever tell me about myself but i kind of allowed them to tell me about myself oh jimmy now you were acting like that that was mad weird you know they had gaslighted me a lot and i kind of just accepted it because i didn't want to ruin the friendship you feel me <sighs> if you felt like that before bro let me know in the chats because baby you're not alone and I'm sure this happens in every community with girls. Girls are just very weird. And here's my thing. Since I've come to understand myself and my own soul, I've come to just know, like, they probably ain't doing it on purpose. And that's the way that they live, bro. Maybe they, like, their families ain't not let them express themselves in their own way. Maybe, you know, they had heavy insecurity, so they're projected onto you. You know, there's so many things you don't know. And it sucks that me personally, that I have to always be the one to understand. I'm tired of being the person that's understanding in the friendship or, or carrying this dead friendship. For so long, I've carried so many dead friendships. It's it's become draining. I didn't even know friendships like this were toxic until I started hanging out with other people. And mind you, they're Somali too, bro. 
they're somebody too but they also broke free from the sense of being the same you feel me like my friend like i want like this dude we literally made a freestyle together and i was so like shy and nervous to be myself because it felt like at first it felt like you know i had to be this one and done type of thing and that's what i learned like i would really mute my own personality and i if you guys know me i have a big personality hmm. if they make a big energy so a lot of girls i really believe are intimidated by that so they would try to like you know water me down a lot of my friends used to try to do that. a lot of them would try to really water me down looking back at it but it didn't feel like they're watering me down it felt like because i put them to a pedestal because we're friends and you know you're my muslim sister you wouldn't want bad for me right you feel me they they were just jealous like bro they they knew i had that good energy i can be friends with anybody i i'm just cool i'm swag i got my own personality and they just hated the sense that like i was free bro like i could do whatever like i didn't need like i was so befaffled bro when i realized these girls couldn't go to the bathroom by themselves oh jimmy come with me jimmy come with me i can't go come with me to the office come to the office and you know i was like yeah I realized these girls couldn't do nothing without the other person. And I'm not here to belittle them. That's not the case. Because I can understand, bro. You feel me? I think it's just the way they grew up, bro. It's a, some kind of trauma stuff. You feel me? And I don't get mad at people for that. You feel me? But I'm not going to entertain a friendship that's one-sided or that's constantly being belittled. I don't want to do these things anymore. I don't want to drink monster tea. That's not me. I don't want to wear these things. I want people who elevate my personality. And I'm not saying all Somali girls are like that. Because there's some swagged out, cool ass Somali girls. But they're like in the shadows. They're so scared because every time someone comes out with their own personality and swag, people shun you for it. And it's sad because why are you shunning somebody for being themselves, bro? And then you're going to steady scream, oh, individualism. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, people, and I was always hard headed. So, whenever someone told me, oh, you should change this, I can wear this, that, 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 I never listened. I said, I said, what? Like, I'm me. And it kind of, sometimes, like, when, like, in college, especially, it'll get to me because I'll be dressing in my baggy clothes and I, and I go to these events and all these girls were wearing their abayas and stuff. And it was just like, I, I felt they looked so beautiful. And I felt like maybe my personality is just too big and I should really just, you know, simmer it down. But there's something will lie. Like, it's like God, bro. He's, it's like, nah, bro. You're the Hokage. You have this voice for a reason. You have this swag and personality for a reason. If girls don't want to, like, be your best friend automatically or this and that, that doesn't mean you're not that girl, bro. You feel me? And the thing I've come to learn is even at your lowest, bro, people still will look at you and still be inspired by you. Some people who don't even know I'd be going through some dark, dark stuff and heartbreaking and just I was I'd be going through things you would never know the way I carry myself alhamdulillah thank you Allah and Allah helps me with it right but even when I'm not at my hundred percent I'm still inspiring these girls and boys bro and you are too and I just don't want you to stunt your own growth bro I don't even it's like being in a toxic relationship and then you finally get in a healthy relationship and then you're like sorry uh, I'm, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry and they're like why do you keep apologizing you don't have to apologize to me it's like oh I can do that like bro girls will literally like somali girls will literally just get mad at you for no reason bro girls will get mad at you for no reason and they be treating me like i'm their boyfriends and they treat like a relationship like oh my god jamila you literally like talk to this person that i'm not talking to you're not supposed to talk to them it's very much insecurities and stuff like that growing up but it's like now it's just there's no sense of individuality like i'm telling you right now name five place name name a place in the states that somali girls have been to new york atlanta miami Cali, like I'm, I'm gonna go somewhere like random and different. Like, like, bro, like you guys all go to the same place, eat the same places. You guys don't have any individual experiences. Like, why don't you try something new? It's not gonna hurt you, bro. Go to like a Japanese restaurant and try sushi. I think the reason why I said something like that is because when I see so many people in places that make me feel safe because of the, the PTSD I got from those friendships and I go see them in places that I feel safe especially the ones that look like they be on that demon timing that creepy narcissistic mean timing I'm like I'm like you're not supposed to be here demon you're supposed to be in Atlanta <laughs> you unhealed Shaydan you're supposed to be in Ohio you're not supposed to be here <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing Naya you're not supposed
supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be in this manga store. You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be in this Pokemon kawaii shop. Get out. You're not supposed to be in GameStop. Get out. <laughs> like, you feel me? So, yeah. Like, every time I see a girl that really be on her own thing, that shit is so inspiring. Like, you're so cool, bro. Be your own person, okay? If that's doing what other girls are doing, not like not like that I don't mean it like that gang you know what i mean like if it's like if it's a common thing then that's fine i'm not asking you to be like a superstar i'm not asking you to be the next hokage you feel me <laughs> you feel me i'm just saying you know i want you to find yourself girl because i don't want you to be 60 years old talking about damn you know damn like my life is like i have my youth is gone you know i didn't get to express myself i didn't get to try this place i didn't get to eat this i didn't get to be friends with that person because i was scared they're gonna judge me it's it's so much deeper than what i'm making it to be honest i don't know how to explain it like there's no sense in individualism but also that they have these toxic traits in friendships that they expect you to upkeep it's always about matching energies you can't say this you can't say that or you can't joke like this you can't joke like that it's just so much upkeeping and it's very draining and it's the way like folks will like you know i don't know it's just my experience i'm not saying this is everybody's experience because like you know even one of my closest friends i went to her house bro we're not friends no more by the way <laughs> i went to her house and she never supported my youtube once never ever but she had me on youtube at her house she's saying let's watch your youtube but she never supported me once bro and that 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 like my soul was telling me oh this this weird behavior here bro and sometimes you gotta listen to your soul bro so i really say kudos to the girls that break free from the stereotypes because baby you more than that stereotype you more than just being that a man's housewife or whatever you're more than because all these girls literally just want to go be someone's wife girl you're more than a wife you're more than someone's mother you're you you're just a girl what do you like to do and if you don't know well go back to your childhood what did you do as a child did you like playing in the park go play the park why are you embarrassed who cares if you're 40 like you know have your sense of self because if you lose yourself then you lose everything and don't be hanging out with girls who bring you down they always judging your looks and you know they're always like acting like they're high and mighty but deep down they be doing the same things they judging you for that's the stuff that blew me a lot i kind of remember another point i wanted to mention i've since i said at the beginning of the video i grew up really understanding who i was as a young age and what i really liked and what i was clear on liking when i started to be friends with these girls i started to see a decline in that if that makes sense i wasn't as individual no more i stopped doing the things that i liked i wasn't even watching anime i don't even think i talked about dragon ball z at all in middle school and you are going to be influenced by who you hang out with that's just a fact but it was really like I don't know i think it was just a transitional period of my time i don't i wouldn't say i got influenced by these girls or anything but it's just to see myself losing kind of what was me i don't know it's a little weird because you do grow up and you do forget these things but it was like it was really heartbreaking looking at it now because now i feel like being in your 20s and being an adult is really just doing the stuff that you like as a kid but you have more access to it now so i have more money to buy pokemon stuff but this guy that i got <laughs> i have more stuff to just buy what i like you know this jordan hoodie i just bought it i didn't have to ask my mom or dad i just liked it and i got it and i think that's you know beautiful and it, it sucked to know like that alhamdulillah i didn't get like my my energy siphoned completely because god forbid i was basic oh stop god forbid like and, and i but I, and I, hanging out with these girls really made me lie like i would lie to their face made me a good actor that's what it did i'd be like don't watch me you want to smash the tea i love my stuff you, you feel me i just would i just would deep i'd be little myself and i'd do these things so i could just keep a friendship it's kind of that sense of familiar toxicity that i talked about in my last video we just kind of run back to things that we are familiar with and that's not always right you never know you're not toxic relationship like i said until you leave and i just really want the best for you guys I really do because you know i grew up where some of these girls would deadass judge you for a and like let's say they'll judge you about a when you're 16 and then now you guys are both 22 she'll be doing a the same thing she judged you for she'll do it years later and 
Hmm. Knowing me, I don't judge people like that. So, I mean, you're a kid. You told me what you told, what you knew at the best as a kid, right? But it's just these words, influences, person that stick with me. You feel me? Like, they'd be hating on you for doing something when you're doing it. Then they do it literally four or five years later. Literally, my ex-friend, bro. I wore a croc. It just literally would just come at me, like, for no reason. Like, why, why are you wearing crocs? Like, that shit is mad ugly. Then I catch her literally, like, two months later wearing crocs. And then I said, oh, I thought they were ugly. I thought they were ugly. And she just starts giggling. You don't need friends like that. You don't need friends that are half-assed and passive-aggressive and are in constant competition with you because they're insecure. Or they're fighting fake demons in their head and they're just projecting onto you. That's what my mom told me. My mom told me straight up. And I wish I had listened to my mom. Listen to your mom because she's so right about these friends. Like, these girls are manipulative. They have their own traumas and they'll push it onto you. It's a very much toxic relationship. Like, they'll, they'll love you. They'll do these things for you. And they'll make it seem like, oh, you owe me, though. I did this for you. You know? It's very toxic. So, yeah. I free my sisters from toxic friendships. I love you guys. You might have the same experiences in different communities. I like to know. I just think we've all had weird friends who are girls. And, yeah. I, may Allah free us. And may Allah grant us people who make us feel like us. Make us feel safe. I think being safe is the most important thing. And just, yeah just overall good people who you know just inspire us to do good and you know how weird it is bro that i really don't feel comfortable telling my friends when something that happens to me that's not a friendship like i said my other like literally earlier i said like i don't want to project this to my next future best friends or friends i can't tell anybody something good because i feel like they're gonna hate or they're gonna jinx it one time I thought I was moving out to this apartment my family was trying to go to. I told this girl about the apartment, and it was on accident. I didn't mean to tell her. I was telling my other friend, are you all about to move to your apartment, gang, 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 right? And the other girl said, oh, you're moving? <laughs> it was cruel, because I know this girl, like, did not, like, she was really passive aggressive. She was, like, low-key. She was high-key lefty. You feel me? She was weird. And we just, <laughs> it was weird because the whole gang didn't like this girl either, and they just started, they just let her hang out with us. I don't know. Stand up for yourself. You feel me? it was weird it's just so much things wallahi like <sighs> anyway she found out that i was trying to move out bro i checked the apartment that shit was gone <laughs> it's okay allah's plans right and i really believe no one can stop what allah has for you so you know speak it to existence but baby like be careful who you speak it to i was gonna plant um seeds of doubt in your heart you could say i want to do a business someone's gonna say like oh but that's hard to tell. that goes for any friend though there's a bus Another thing I noticed, this video is about to be a lot longer than I wanted it to be, but another thing I noticed is that, like, I don't know if this is, like, a girl thing or just something I grew up with, but girls could deadass not like one girl in the group, but she'll still hang out with us. So why are we just sitting here talking, like, crap about this girl? Like, this is dead, and I've been told them, like, if y'all not gonna resolve this, this is GG, like, you feel me? But again, like, I was just, I didn't want to lose not having friends. I'm like, this is high school, I want to have fun, I don't want to be alone very sad that it had to be like that you know for like the junior year but it was very funny it was very like adrenaline like oh my god like like we used to do that my friend got her car so we did ask used to be like yo let's run to the car before she texts us it was so bogus but it was not like we were hating on her it was that she was hating on all of us and we don't know why she was hanging out with us it was like the odd one out but like it was well deserved type of it Hey, we just didn't want to be mean to her. You feel me? We just think, oh, like she's just misunderstood. Like she's just trauma bonding us, whatever, right? She's just projecting. But yeah, I have so much stories about girls. If y'all want to know about the Hokage lore a little bit and how I felt, let me know. I, I don't want to make this video too long. I love you guys. Stay beautiful. Never fold, never bend. Don't ever bend. Don't ever fold. Because if you fold for something you don't like, that's a, dis that's a disservice to yourself. And why would you ever disrespect yourself in front of me? <laughs> Girl, get some confidence. Get a backbone. Never. This is also really important I want to add real quick. Because I'm just remembering as I'm editing. Another thing that was very weird about being friends with girls that I grew up with, especially Somali girls, like this was especially Somali girls, is that if I wasn't being, because I was known to be that funny, sexy, smart girl, right? You know, I was very funny and lit and had crazy energy. So people would kind of always kind of hype me up to do shit like oh she'd be like yeah get away get away and i don't mind because i know what i wanted to do you know you would not peer pressure me no one can peer pressure me but what would get is that if i wasn't talking like i was drained or my energy was down 
I couldn't even allow myself to be drained because I felt like they were gonna think because I know how they think and I'm self-aware to myself and how they perceive me that like oh they're gonna think I don't mess with them no more they're gonna think I'm being shady and it's so bad because I will I will carry this to other friendships and I'll be so like hyper it's like I'm fighting nobody I have my fist up like I'm fighting nobody and my other friends will be like damn chill like it's not that deep like breathe you're fine you're okay i'll bring up like i'll be scared to express other topics that are taboo in the somali community and then other people that are somali will tell me yo i feel the same and it's so that's why i make this video and i make these type of videos because you're not alone bro you're really not alone in experiences you never had an original experience you're not even that nigga for real (laughs) like i want people to feel like it's okay to be yourself why do we hate ourselves? Allah made you you, you feel me? That should be your greatest asset, not your greatest weakness. You shouldn't look in the mirror and be like, mm, mm. <laughs> but yeah, guys. You might see me again if I think of something else. Not so much things to talk about. It's just a bunch of hurt people hurting more people. And you know what they say? Hurt people just hurt people so heal yourself so that's why like i really am trying to figure myself out and i wonder why has allah sent me my my dream best friend like because i i'm a lover girl bro i want to like go on friend dates i want to go paint pictures i get so sad knowing that i'm in my youth and i don't get to have that and i'm like allah like what did i literally deserve to be dealing with these demons and their ptsds and their problems like that's not me you know and i really had to take myself out of that situation allah really had to be like yo like you need to learn this you feel me so you can never expect less my confidence was just wasn't there when i was friends with these girls and that can be again for anybody but and it really made me think like wow like when allah blesses i I, sometimes i tell myself jamila what if allah just sends you the perfect friend right now and i'll tell allah like honestly in my head i'll be like i don't be like i don't think I'm scared I'm going to break her heart. Like, I'm scared I'm going to be on, like, you know. I'm scared. I I, I got to heal me. Because I want to be with this person. Like, I just want us to be happy. I just want us to be kids. I just want us to be ourselves. I want us to grow together. I don't want you to feel like you got to fix me right. I fix you. Baby, come to me healed. <laughs> okay? Do the shadow work. And that's the thing. You can't take some people to the top. Some people are not meant to the top. Some people, their highest and the only friendship that they like think that they can get. That's why it's important to know your self-worth. That's why they think the highest friendship they can get is literally someone who talks shit about them, who's plotting their downfall. They think that's the best they can get. Nah, I'm not settling. If I, I need a best friend that is like, like, I need to be around girls who are like, like me and better. Like, I want to be hanging out with girls who are smarter than me. I want to look i want to i want us to all look up to each other probably not look up to each other because we're probably all going to be the same height <laughs> unless you're a six feet tall baddie but yeah yeah again the thing i just wanted to add is also another thing i peeped is even when you posted pictures or anything you would always kind of like you know like like they all post the same pictures and everything like when you're eating food you can't even eat food they want to post pictures and stuff and it's like and I asked my friend, hey, babes, like, you take such amazing pictures of, like, where you're at and stuff. This looks phenomenal. Why don't you, like, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, you, like I said, you can't bring some people to the top, bro. And I'm like, why don't you make an Instagram account dedicated to this? So you can, like, you know, be, like, an influencer. And you don't even have to show your face. And she's like, yeah, bro, well, I, I know, but I just, yeah, bro, I just don't want, and they say something, I don't know. And it's like. And I think that honestly kind of stunted my growth with my own content because I didn't see nobody else doing it. And I kind of wanted that. What's that? For a little bit, it wasn't, it wasn't a constant thing, but for like a little while, I felt like I didn't see anybody else doing it. So I was like, if I do it, like I was scared that I was going to be casted out. Like I was going to be banished from the small community. Never come back to me. Like, nah, get the hell out. Get out. But then I'm just like, you know what? I don't care if I'm banished. Like, I leave. <laughs> you know? More closing thoughts I want to say. It always felt like you had to watch what you said. You feel me? It felt like people. It 
felt like God forbid you said something, they're gonna think, well, what does that mean? Like, they were so, I don't know what's the word for it, but they were so on, like, attack mode. They just wanted an excuse to just argue with you, to let that steam off or be shady towards you. And I've seen this. I, I really can't tell, bro, if this is, like, something oddly specific to Somali girls or just girls in general. Like, I'll have my friends who are my closest friends. I'll never forget, bro. I just cracked a joke to her and she took it so offensively and then she tried to like say that's why you have an f in the class da, da, da. she tried to like find something that wasn't even the truth but just tried to like belittle me in front of all these people and it's weird i don't know what it is like i think it's just this hyper defensive thing and you feel like you're being attacked when it's like you just don't know how to have friends <laughs> It's weird and it's not even that they come to you like they, they just act very two-faced they'll talk to you they'll say i'm sorry i didn't mean to do this and i'll do it again tomorrow I'm like i'm tired stop sending me these demons what i look like to you an exorcist i'm not a realist please stop sending me these demons anyways guys the whole point i made this video is i want you to se explore your sense of self i want you to know who you are okay I really see you as someone who's valuable and you have more to offer than just doing what everybody else is doing. I feel like you guys are scared to be yourself. So if you're scared, literally sub to me and you can watch me be myself. I hang out by myself. It's nothing wrong with that. There's, you're not going to be lonely. Okay? Don't be scared. Okay? The world is so beautiful. There's, there's beauty in everything you do. And if you're praying to Allah for something, just know Allah does not delay a matter except for good. And you guys know when I say stuff, I really don't mean it to be mean, but you guys know that, okay? People always be trying to twist the narrative, and it's like, be, be so for real, be so for real, okay? Anyways, guys, I love you, YSG, we up, um, shout out to my beautiful Somali girls, um, you guys are very talented and smart and amazing, and it breaks my heart to see you be doing basic shit, like, you guys are so talented, you're so artsy, creative, and you guys have a lot of trauma. Use your trauma to fuel art or something, do something. You guys are so smart. That's why you got that big, you got that big ass dome. Don't be little people because you're scared to do it. Don't be little people. That's some lame nigga shit. That's some that's some lame girl energy. And we don't do that here. And shout out to the women who be putting that 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 shit on. Shout out to the girls that be doing their thing. I support you. I adore you. But really ask yourself bro even when when ramadan comes and they start baking you see 10 pages of them making the same thing ask yourself what can i do different <laughs> just do it like nike anyways i love you guys it's been your girl to hokage i'll see you on the next mission road to hokage baby i want to add a little bit more to my point i think being friends with these girls that i wore friends with you know everything happens for a reason but it's really given me a sense of friendship ptsd so now when i'm scared to make new friends kind of because i'm scared i'm gonna have those toxic traits on you and i don't want to do that to you i don't want to break your heart i don't want to be mean i don't want to be judging you I'm still figuring out myself, so whenever Allah does bless me with my new, beautiful, sexy, swaggy, rich girl, best friends, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want my toxicity that I've come to, you know, kind of absorb because of the girls I was friends with because they were hurt and they were going through their own traumas and, you know, have affect you. I think it's very important to really ponder and think about these things because you don't want to bring that hurt to a friendship. People don't take friendship seriously, but I do. You know, and I think what lie with Somali girls that really frustrated me is even past the sense of individualism and the judging for being different. It's uh, it's the fact like it's like why are we even friends? Like you never realize how bad. Hmm, how do I explain it? It's just I think what really hurt me the most is because I really look at the girls I was friends with as like sisters at one point, and it really hurts to know that. You know, you've never supported me. And it's, you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> that I couldn't really find peace. In my personal experience, peace with being friends with my girls. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I just, it, I don't know how to explain this without it sounding like I'm trying to be quirky or be different. 
I just feel like there's no sense of I just don't know I guess I just I've come to develop such a tough armor skin when it comes like a fight or flight when I'm with certain Somali girls that remind me of this quality because it's very triggering so when I see other girls that are different not even different but like different in the way they move or it's just it feels like oh you're such a breath of fresh air like I feel safe with you it's so scary to know that there's some girls you can't be safe with like you're a woman bro you're supposed to be safe like you're supposed to be gg like like man okay i understand that but like girls is like why are you judging me why are you trying to belittle me and you know again it's back to the insecurity thing but i just don't know that friend ptsd is real i don't want to bring that into a new relationship or friendship whatever i want to be me again and i'm working on finding myself more even though I already pretty much know myself, but yeah. I've outgrown it and I've seen the gimmicks, I've seen the gaslighting, I've seen all the stuff. It's just, 